This hill is called Castle Hill. Local legend says there may be a castle somewhere in the area, possibly dating from the Norman period. It is a fair old way up there, though, and it, hey? And the landowners believe that the lost castle is sitting on top of their hill, waiting to be discovered. We have to do a nice flat site, and this is what they've come up with. <laughs> but there are no clear written records, and no obvious reason why a castle should be here, as there's nothing to defend. So was a castle ever built on this site? If so, who built it and why? As usual, we've got just three days to find out. Mind you, it's taken me the best part of three days just to climb up here. Where are we going to set up base camp? Here? Here. <laughs> At 450 feet, Castle Hill in South Somerset is the biggest hill for miles around. Come on. Until we sort out a vehicle route, it's a real challenge for everyone who wants to get to the top. He adopts the rambler attitude yeah. with a rucksack on the back. He was walking like that when he left the bar. Jimmy, did nobody tell you you can get a vehicle up here? <laughs> The hill lies a couple of miles northwest of the village of Crewe Kern and one mile southeast of Hinton St George. John's magnetic survey has given us a promising first target. It looks like there was something on the summit of Castle Hill. It's a good place to start, and Phil's wasting no time in marking out the first trench. You ever thought of getting a job at a council? <laughs> hey? <laughs> <laughs> At least we've got a good start with this fantastic geophysics. Yeah, we have. It looks as though on the top of the hill here, we, we've got what could be a big structure. Yeah. It's the prime location for some sort of tower. Yeah. Keep, Keep. something like that, yeah. Do you often get stone Norman castles turning up? You get stone keeps, even if the rest of it is timber. You get a mound with a tower on the top or a tower with a mound packed round it. Well, we've got this lovely geophys. Where do you want to put in the first trench? Anywhere in the middle there, just to see what we're getting. To see what it looks like. We've got everything to play for with it. Let's have a look. Let's see. Sons Andrew and Paul Irish have been fascinated by the giant hill in their backyard for as long as they can remember. Guys, that's in your back garden. It is. It's been a fantastic feature of our childhood, really, having the, the hill there, all the stories that go with it, and yeah, a bit of an adventure playground in itself, really. What's the local folklore that suggests that there was a castle up there? Well, so far as we know, um, there was uh, some sort of medieval castle there. So you want us to find some definitive evidence of the castle? It'd be fantastic. It's really hard imagining people living up on top of the hill. So it would be incredible to try and imagine how the building was up there and how dominant it must have been in the landscape. Let's hope we can solve the mystery for them and prove that their hill was indeed the site of a medieval castle. Well, there we are, look. That's South Somerset. Meanwhile, Mick and Alex have hauled themselves up the hill to survey the wider area. Down at our base camp, Alex is using some specialist computer software called View Shed Analysis. It maps the entire area that can be seen from the top of Castle Hill. What we do with View Shed Analysis is we take a point in the landscape, which we've taken from up there on Castle Hill, OK, and what we then map is all the other places on the landscape that can be seen from that point. Oh, and that's right. what you can see yeah. in green. That's very good, isn't it? We can see all of this with the naked eye when we're yeah. up there, but this really helps us to map it. Just looking here at the Fossway, okay, yeah. the Roman road, which is something we could see yeah. parts of from up on the hill. Well, this confirms we can actually see here where the Fossway crosses the River Parrot. Ah, oh, there. That's a really important point to control that, isn't it? Yeah. I notice you've got on the map here Crow Castle here, because this might be the earlier castle, mightn't it? Well, this is the thing. Mm. I, this early documentary reference we've got is, refers to a, 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 a castle at Crow. Rook. Yeah. And for me, the place name, Crow Castle, is so similar to that early reference. Yeah. And the proximity to Crewkern as well, which we know was an important Anglo-Saxon oh, yes. market town and yes. mint, yeah. might suggest that this is one of the first places you put a castle. Yeah. I think you ought to go and have a look at this and see whether there's anything to see at all on the ground, but not before you've had a cup of tea. I think I will do. <laughs> So Alex and Mark are going to investigate another contender for the castle in the documents, nearer the town of Crewe Kern. 
But with its spectacular views of the area, our Castle Hill is still a prime candidate. And some new finds from Rakshar's trench are looking very promising. What do you got?